Hi guys, wind powered car, second attempt. We're looking at the first attempt, which technically was interesting, putting it together, making the wheels with these bits of plastic to fill in the gaps in the centre of the CDs, but it's still very wobbly on the wheels, so I'm very unhappy with it. So we're going to have a second attempt. I've got two more plastic drink bottles or pop bottles. 500 millilitres these hold which is about 16 or 18 fluid ounces and we can go up to 20 fluid ounces it said in the list of bits and pieces we can use. Got some more CDs got some bottle caps this time that I'm going to use for the hubs and I'll use tape to stick them on there because we're not allowed to use hot glue and for the axles I've been to Poundland and bought the cheapest set of pencils I could find colouring pencils they happen to be it's a 30 pack for a pound so I'll use two of them for the axles my plan is I'm going to cut one of these, top, cut the top off or the bottom, uh, yeah, probably the bottom actually, and stick it on top of the other one so we got double the length because I want it to be longer than that one was. Uh, one reason is it makes the steering a bit better. The longer the car is, uh, the less effect the steering has on it or any inaccuracies in the steering and the other thing is I rather fancy putting my sail in the middle rather than at the back or the front. Using this one I found if I put it at the front then the steering was hopeless it just went everywhere and if I put it at the back well it was okay but I just want to try mounting it between the wheels and see if that makes it even better. So if I make it longer, I've got more space to put the sail somewhere in the middle. That's the general idea. So yeah, I'll cut the back off of that one, just the last bit, slide it over the top of there and tape it in place. I'll cut it right round the seam. There is a seam at the bottom here. And then just jam it on and tape it together. Put a layer of tape around it to hold it together. For the holes for the axles, I pushed my map pin through first just to make the hole. Then I pushed my braddle through to make it a bit bigger. And then the next thing I'm going to do is use that bit of the scissors and work it around to open up the hole big enough for the pencils to go through. Well that fits, that's probably still a little bit tight. If you look at that hole, it's not a proper circle. It's almost like a triangle. Axle holes ready. For the wheels, I've got these bottle caps, which happen to fit nicely into the um, circle just there. So I'm just going to put tape across them to hold them in place. Alright, just 
make a hole first. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I think we'll be all right there. All right. Make sure we've got a little bit of a gap, but not too much. So a loop of tape wrapped round so it's sticky on the outside. Stick that on there. And that should give us just enough to stick it on there. Not sure if we'll see it, but I've put another piece of tape there. It goes down and then across. It's a right angle bend. And that's holding the plate upright at the moment. So we'll switch on the fan and see what happens. Ah, right. Well, the plate's blown over, so I need to put another bit of tape at the bottom. We've now got a bit of tape at the bottom there. It's still moving. stop now. So, do we need a bigger plate or a second plate on top of it? A whole stack of them to make a big sail. I've got it balanced there at the moment. What I'm going to do is put some tape across there, across there and across there and on the front. So we've got a sail that's three times the size. That doesn't seem to have improved anything, does it? Which is interesting. Because it probably doesn't help that my fan isn't a direct um, fan, it's actually angled. It's got these bars on it. Yeah, look. So redirecting the flow, so it's actually going slightly downwards there. That meant it was actually blowing it even further. So let's, uh, let's try that again. In the, in the description it just says a box fan. Well. I don't actually know what a box fan is. Something like this, I'm guessing. Because the actual question was speed. Well, I don't do speed. <laughs> Depends how you measure the speed. Is it the amount of time it takes to cover a certain distance? In which case, hang up. <laughs> I just moved a bit further. Yeah, in which case, how do we measure it? Oh, I see. If I get a bit closer to it, I'm actually redirecting the air, I think. Am I? Hmm, don't know. Yeah, back to what I was waffling on about. The question was talking about speed, but speed can only be distance over time. 
so I don't know what distance we have to travel so I can't measure the overall speed Because it's just occurred to me that we're blowing into a dead end here so the wind isn't going to be going all the way through and I need to open the door so we can actually get a through draft. about going the opposite direction. I think what we've got there is a good demonstration of the aerodynamics of my kitchen. Before we leave this I did say I'd see what happened if we put the sail in the middle. So I've cut a little gap in the bottom one so we can fit it in the middle. Is that going to move anymore? It does make a difference if I walk in the way and disturb the airflow. Now we're into the realms of what happens if. I've got five plates for our sail now. Or just sticky tape holding them together. Fan on. Uh, we're going a bit right, aren't we? And that is still going. I don't know if that actually made any difference though, whether we started off faster or anything. It's still going, just very slowly.
Yeah, I, th I think we started off faster because we're catching more wind, but I don't think we're getting any better distance. So I think that'll do. I think we've played with it enough. You can do your own experiments to see what you can improve on. Clearly the type of fan makes a lot of difference as well. So that's what I've got and that's what I'm using. It looks like the bigger the sail area, the faster we get going to begin with. But then we have to wait for the wind to catch up again before it moves any further which is interesting. But I think I've gone as far as I want to go on this. So that will do. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.